Daniel chapter 2 of Titus, verse 10. Reading from the King James Bible, quote, Not prolonging, but showing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of God as Savior in all things, unquote. John Gill, quote, Not purloining or stealing, embezzling their master's substance, taking away and making use of what is their property, keeping back part of money or goods committed to their trust. The word is used in the case of Ananias and Sapphira, Acts chapter 5, verse 2, but showing all good fidelity, approving themselves to be faithful servants in everything they are entrusted with, that they may adorn the doctrine of God our Savior in all things. Christ is our ours alone Savior, and He is true and properly God, and so fit and able to be a Savior. And the Gospel is His doctrine, not only what He Himself preached when on earth, but it is a doctrine concerning Him, concerning His deity, the dignity of His person, and concerning His office as mediator, and the great salvation by Him, and which are so many reasons why it should be adorned by a suitable life and conversation. For this is what becomes the gospel of Christ, throws the beauty upon it and is adorned to it. And in this way, the doctrine of Christ may be and ought to be adorned by servants as well as others. To adorn the gospel is first to believe and receive it, then to profess it and hold fast that profession and walk worthy of it. Two of Stephen's copies read, quote, in... Unquote, or, quote, among all men, unquote. King James, quote, Not purloining, but showing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of God our Savior in all things, unquote. End of John Gill, Titus chapter 2, verse 10.